morning, everybody. It's Jean here. Maxwell and Maxwell. And Maxwell. Um, we're just out and about doing some chores. Um, just wanted to uh, to bring you up to speed. Again, the last video I put up, now the the house Excuse situation. Me. I'm sorry. Excuse me, I was yawning. Oh, thank you. The house situation is with the authorities now. Um, so the zoning and the, the township and everything and the insurance company. So um, if you didn't know, our house was flooded. It was hit by hurricanes and a tornado uh, here on the east coast of Pennsylvania uh, about, about five weeks ago or so. And we're waiting. We've been displaced. We are now in our son's basement. And I'll put some pictures up. Um, sweet little place. We are very, very blessed to have it. Um, he's, they are looking after us very well. And um, the basement had to be finished with the kitchen and the um, some of the drywall and the flooring, and that's all been done. So I'll just put a few pictures um, up of our, yep. of our lovely home. Um, the Starbucks will reign supreme. Oh, Starbucks! Oh my goodness, Maxwell. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to Starbucks. Not today. We're doing chores. I'm sorry. You're so sad. <laughs> I'm sad. We will go to Starbucks. Anyway, um, that's that. The house situation is what it is. Um, we go over. In fact, we're going to go over now. We're going to go get the mail. Oh, that was what was that car? That was something else. Um, Junk King. One eight hundred. Oh we, no! We did no. We saw we a do, sign. We, no. no, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. You you deemed it as rude, and I. It was just the sign I saw on the side of the road. Anyway, that's that. Um, oh, where do I go? Are you... Uh, is, it, uh, is, it, is it off limits? Or can I go there? You can go there. Between which ones? Those cones? Yeah, not on that side, on that side. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so our apartment is lovely. There's construction work, and I don't know where to go. This you'll But it has the green arrow, so I guess I can go. Um... Yeah, the apartment's lovely. Uh, we did get bad news. Oh, no diploma. No diploma for Maxwell. Um, if again, if you're just tuning in here, let me just go here. Excuse me, folks. Yeah, if you're tuning in, Maxwell had gone to a uh, certain school district in our area yep. for 14 years. He actually walked with his graduating class. after 12 years of school in kindergarten to 12th grade and then he did an extra two years because of his challenges and then COVID hit the pandemic and lockdown and we requested Maxwell's diploma they said well because at the last minute because we moved and then a week later the lockdown came um, we had to register technically in another school district the previous school district that Maxwell went to um, is refusing to give him his diploma the new school district that he went to for all of 45 minutes 45 minutes for a meeting for one meeting has his diploma and it says i graduated from that district when i clearly did not right and so we're not we're not picking up that diploma so this was an ongoing issue so what i had done is after getting nowhere with this both school districts i wrote then uh, again in previous videos i mentioned this i wrote to everybody i wrote to the attorney general and also we're not those people we don't do that but it was sort of like this injustice about our son which rightfully he uh, he needs his he would like to get his diploma hard-earned well the upshot of it was the department of education got back to me saying having not read my complaint our complaint versus the school districts and they said well we can't we do not deem the 
findings of the school district to have discriminated against your child because of his, di his uh, disabilities. Now that has nothing to do with a diploma. Exactly. I, I was saying you didn't even read the complaint because we didn't mention, we mentioned that Maxwell is autistic and has epilepsy, but we had nothing, that has nothing to do with the fact that they won't issue him a diploma. The fact that they won't issue him a diploma is because technically, a technicality of what school district he was in, and what does that have to do with anything? He went to one school for 14 years. We were in that school district for almost 30 years. All of our children graduated from that high school and went to that school yes, district. And, and that is new. You never see a Jeep oh, towing anything. No, you don't. That's a sweet little little rig, isn't it? I yeah. was wondering it was behind me. Oh, shiny. Me. That's a sweet little trailer. Anyway, so the Department of Education has said, well, you 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 sort of lose your appeal here. Um, if you want, ha oh, I will say it, Hatboro Horsham School District has your diploma. Centennial School District won't give you your diploma. <laughs> he went um, to Centennial School District for but, 14 years. So I'm I'm saying I, we got this we got this um, response back from our official complaint saying, well, it's been denied and he, d he doesn't get his diploma from the school district he went to. So, um, yes. it, it might be splitting hairs to say, well, why don't, you know, somebody might say, well, he's that, he has a diploma from a certain school district. Why don't you go get it? I saw, like, um, but I, I didn't even go to that. I didn't even go to that promotion. Exactly. So why would we accept? I, I, I literally went there for 45 minutes. I'm not going to accept a diploma when I went there for only 45 minutes. Exactly. So the upshot of it is Maxwell does not get a diploma from the school he went to for 14 years. Now, could we say they're discriminating for his disability? Maybe. Maybe we could go it further, but we're not going to. That's it. It's a piece yep. of paper. We've discussed it. And that's it. They've won. Because of... Well, we were saying to Maxwell, there's such a thing as the letter of the law, and there's such a thing as the spirit of the law. The letter of the law, perhaps there's a fine, 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 fine print in the letter of the law that we're not aware of that the school district will not issue his diploma where he went to. The spirit of the law, the spirit of the law is for you, you, people in charge. Excuse me, you need to get fuel. I know, I just saw that. We'll go to Wawa. For people in charge. Food? To be Sorry. kind, no, excuse me, to be kind and to be understanding and to be gracious to somebody, even without challenges, let alone somebody with challenges who, who endured 14 years of their schooling, to give him his diploma. And yet, because of what? Because of funding, because of uh, uh, people in charge. Yes, um, funding for a f like a 50 cent piece of paper. Exactly. Exactly. So we don't understand it. They're not going to issue his diploma. Centennial School District is saying, is washing their hands of Maxwell. Um, yes. Um, and that's it. And we're not yep. going to fight it anymore. Nope. No. Which, it, it pretty much stinks. Um, but there's that expression, you can't fight City Hall. We tried, we tried. We took it up to the, you know, Department of Education. And as I said, I don't even think they read the complaint because that wasn't what we, we were, that wasn't what we were challenging. So anyway, oh. that's that. Which is, leaves us with a nasty taste in our mouth. But again, it's the system we live in. Um, people are, people are just bent on wielding power. And uh, little people like us lose out. Anyway, uh, one more thing. I'll, oh, I'll put some pictures up of our little apartment. That's sweet. Um, well, they're working down at the bridge here. Who's here? It, it looks like the same car. It looks like my Cadillac. Oh, it's the surveyor. It's the surveyor. Anyway, we're at, we're about, at our house. It's the surveyor. Oh, the, but why is he, why is he in our parking lot? No, no, no. 
it's the surveyor for surveying uh, the property for the insurance. The, uh, the, the, oh, oh, I see. Yeah, the things with the house. <laughs> like it's literally the same car. I know. There's a Cadillac here. It's almost identical to mine as we're pulling in. Um. Anyway, I just wanted to say you want to just what you want to just oh, no, just stay. Uh, no, um, okay, just stay here just for a second. Um, I just wanted to tell you what happened the other night. Oh my word, you heard it. Uh, yep. Um. Yeah. Two o'clock in the morning. Uh. Laying in bed. Uh, yep. What should you say? Maxwell was up. Up. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I was. Yeah, Maxwell was up, but I was. We were sound asleep, um, and all of a sudden, at two yeah. o'clock in the morning, this almighty crash, bang, smash, explosion, like right outside of our window. I thought, what in the world is happening here? Unbeknownst to us, because we we're in this basement apartment, it's quite lovely and soundproof, really. There was a terrible thunderstorm outside thunder and lightning here right the, the next door neighbor's tree massive huge tree was hit by lightning and it what it didn't just fall and split it like exploded the tree and it was it was like a bomb went off right in our room oh my goodness two exactly two o'clock in the morning the power did go off um but then they our son has a whole house generator so power that, that powered right on but what happened was um early early i don't know it was 5 30 or 6 o'clock when he woke up our son went out with a chainsaw um and cut the tree up for our neighbor because no one could get out of the dry, the, the road there so they he was hauling the wood off um of this fallen tree but that was so terrifying i'm thinking oh my goodness we've had floods and tornadoes and now a lightning strike it was terrifying um but that's never mind and one last thing um the next video hopefully jen will be coming my friend jen with my juki because i have my little sewing area it's this big she's going to bring her my my new juki and we're going to yes, unbox I it you downgrade your iron i did downgrade my iron i i don't know where oh jen has my big iron but i got a tiny little ironing board it's this big and a little tiny iron it's sweet a little tiny hand, handheld iron. Everything we're working with is very uh, small. You, you, so, so you have little, little baby, and you have the big baby. That's right. So we have a little tiny iron. Um, I don't. Again, I don't know what I'm going to be sewing. I'm, go, I'm doing some paint by numbers. That's exciting. I'm enjoying that. Uh, I have a little magnifying maybe, glass. Maybe you should sell them. I should sell my paint by numbers. Yeah, I should do that. I'm really enjoying it. This next one's a little bit difficult. So anyway, that's what's happening. Um, uh, oh. Or are, they, or are they licensed? No, I think you could sell, I, I believe the artwork would be licensed, but probably the finished product you could sell. I, I did yeah. all the work. The paint by numbers, are they're not hard, but they're tedious, but I got a magnifying glass. I'm really enjoying that until I can start sewing again. Um, I don't yep. have my sewing room. Uh, we're here at our house. Uh, you have a sewing corner. I do have a sewing corner. It's exciting. Instead of a sewing room, <laughs> you have a sewing corner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, we're here at the house. Let me see what you're seeing. You're seeing a bunch of true bunch of wood. There, there. Somebody's the surveyor is here. Um, surveying the the mess of, of our house. Oh, look at this from the tornado. Um, yes, and just imagine that surveyor has some jumper cables. Oh, I know. My car doesn't. I have to jump my Cadillac. Yeah. Yeah. We're leaving their their car here. But anyway. So, I'm going to go get the mail, and then um, we're going to go home. We're going to do some washing, and um, Jen will be here the next video. That'll be exciting. So will that be on Thursday or Friday? That'll be, she's coming Saturday. She's oh, coming Saturday after yes. her mini after our ministry work. Yep. So, um, yeah, so we just wanted to check in yep. and say hello, everybody. Um, good news. Or bad news, we had a lightning strike, which was terrifying, but everything's okay. Uh, bad yep. news, Maxwell doesn't get his diploma. What are you going to do? Can't fight City Hall. It is what it is. It is what it is. And that's a shame. That's a shame. But never mind. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe. Keeping... Well, well, luckily, I'm only working with family. Yeah, exactly. You're working with your family. You don't need your diploma. It would be nice to have it. Boy, oh boy. What a terrible thing. <laughs> and I, would, I didn't really want to name 
the school district because I thought we're not we're not those people again we're not those people we're not fighters but I think that's pretty bad um, of the school district that he went to faithfully and endured 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 quite a few years unfortunate years were until they until they listened to us and placed Maxwell where he thrived um, that they they are denying him his diploma anyway what are you gonna do anyway folks I hope you're all well and safe and um take care of everybody Bye -bye. all right love from the true loves bye